What's up, Virgo? My name's Lisa. Just going to do a quick um, reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for the month of March 2019 for the sign of Virgo. Okay, one card, please, for the issue or the focus, the main focus. Okay, so some of you in rest mode, healing from a broken heart. Um, the Seven of Swords popped out while I was shuffling the decks. It came out of multiple decks. So, um, recovery. He's praying, contemplating. Yeah, Bill, I feel like someone's regaining their confidence. I was just drawn to all the, the yellow. Maybe dealing with the Sag Sagittarius because this card showed itself as well while I was shuffling, as well as the Magician. So Aries, Aries Leo Sag. Um, okay, what's crossing? It's crossing you. Yeah, you're trying to make a decision. Again, here's with the fire sign. And the yellow, I'm drawn to the yellow again. It's this yellow and red. Confidence and um, I'm hearing strategy. It's um, getting grounded enough to make a decision. This is why you're in pause mode. Contemplating. All right, so yeah, look. Some of you, I just, I just heard that like some of you may have already been um, become aware of what your next move was. This is like you've had a change of perspective because you know if you like are standing on your head, it's like it gives you a change of per perspective. Like you get enlightened from it. See again with the yellow gives you the confidence to move forward. All right, so what's going on in the subconscious? Yeah. yeah. You're trying to heal, working on yourself, like inner strength is what I heard. Um, spiritual awakening is what I've also heard. So this is like uh, a, deep, a deep change. All right. It's all about divine timing. This is the healing. This is the divine masculine, divine feminine. Um, you know, becoming balanced within. The yellow is like really popping out. So solar plexus, um, you may be feeling extra confident, you know, which is like what's, what's um, because you've been working on yourself. All right, let's see. What's going on below? There you are. Feeling abundant. Yeah, see, you may be beginning something like like starting um, a business, starting some sort of project. I, I'm feeling like art, like a book, something very uh, creative, like artistic. That, that, that's what I'm feeling. Some of, for some of you. But it goes from the eight to the queen. So it's like, um, and again with the yellow, the yellow is just like so prominent. I feel like you're, I'm here and taking care of your business um, you're making money. I feel like your money is growing. I think you're, it feels like you're investing, like trying to decide like where to invest your money and where to invest your time in the future. Like you're just, this pause is all about maturity because it's, I'm hearing like reckless decisions, maybe like, which seems a little bit crazy for a Virgo, but like, um, that's what brought about these three swords. And now you have this final sword here and see how it's like in this yellow. It's like, 
you're about to step. It's like you don't want to make the wrong move. This is also, um, I just was like heard like about somebody like getting married or thinking about getting married and moving forward with this marriage. And it's like, um, maybe you need to do something with your money first. Like, I don't know if like you have to have a separate account or maybe there needs to be like a, um, what are those things called a prenup? Yeah. Because see how she's looking. It's like, it, it maybe what this, these three swords are maybe in the past, you know, you've been taken advantage of with your money and it's money that you've earned. Like it's yours. So that's like for some of you there. All right. So in the recent past, yeah, here's this king. So that's a pair. Yeah, look. See, I definitely feel like there's people getting married. And um, there is an issue in regards to money and like doing things differently with each other in regards to money, but as well as, um, you know, wanting to, I mean, this is like both people wanting to work on the stability together. But there's this pause. It's like how, and there's two fours, 44, which is a twin flame number, but as well as this 1111, this four of wands card. So if you resonate with that, this is like one of those connections. But this guy is a, a business owner. Um, you, it's like um, he's somebody that does something outside, like within like construction. It can be involved in finance. You know, usually it's like, I always feel like he's like self-made, you know? All right. Overall energy. Yeah. Is stability. I mean, because that's what the focus is here is this stability. Maybe I, I feel like maybe you're contemplating about moving forward, you know, with, with each other. Let's see. I want to, I want to get a, um, Let's, what this for, what are they contemplating here? Yeah, it's like, I f yeah, see, the five of pentacles. I feel like um, there's been some issues with money or just like, it's like just wanting so much to look like he's like defending, he's like fighting what's his. Like maybe somebody like just came into a lot of money and, or you've had your money in the past and people have used you in the past for your money. Yeah, but this is, it's like, you don't want to be, um, I mean, look at this five of pentacles. These, this is all about like, it's like, see how this part, it's like, I get this vibe of like somebody giving and giving and giving and look like she's like fat and got this long, warm coat on and she's like crossing her arm. Like she's still not satisfied. I feel like somebody has been, um, like that's what they do is they give and give and give until they're like depleted, you know? I mean, he's walking around like on crutches and everything and he's the one carrying the bag, you know? Um, it's like, I also got this car before and I feel like this, it's like they get a plate of food and they both get a plate of food and she eats hers and half of his, you know, it's like, this is whom, whom you're all, always, 
but now like you've met somebody that is your, your soulmate, but these fears are coming up, which is put you in this pause mode. Okay. And even though it came out like the queen and king and you know, it could be vice versa. It's like, you want to move forward in the right direction because you know, you've done some work on yourself. You've, 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 um, you've built some, a foundation for yourself. You've got a, like a nest in the bank, you know, and it's like, yeah, get a prenup. If that feels right, do that. You know what I mean? But usually this guy, like this King of Pentacles guy, like he's pretty solid and reliable. And, um, you know, he has his own money in the bank because he's thinking about the future too. There's just this like, very like wanting to be practical sense like going on. It's just like, no, we need to talk about this. Like, how are we going to do this? You know, cause maybe, maybe it's come up before and you didn't plan it out and it just like went all freaking haywire or something. But yeah. So like maybe you're going to move in together. Yeah. Cause this can be like moving like, and so it's just like, there's like, guidelines for and married some of you are like might be getting married moving moving in together all right let's get advice for virgo please self-forgiveness and protection let go of old guilt and remember that you're god's perfect child okay so what this is it's like it's about not bringing because see how she also looks like she's like mourning you know she's looking down at the money it's like she's mourning for whatever she's lost and this is about like not bringing in the pain of these three heartaches okay you want to do it's like i just feel like you want to do it right this time like you don't want to mess it up you don't you like i just feel like i, I don't want to mess it up and it's like so this whole self-forgiveness is like, okay, you know what? Maybe these last three times you got totally taken advantage of. Maybe people have taken all your money. Hey, I've been there, okay? <laughs> they were lessons, you know? The thing is, is that I grew from that experience, you know? And I feel like you have too. I mean, you're the queen of pentacles. You're showing up as the queen of pentacles. And it's like let it go, let it go. And don't be allowing this person to carry the burden of these three people, you know, or the three situations that you had before this person ever even came into your life. Like it's over. Like that's over. And if he's like somebody that's, that did this, because I just heard that, like for some of you, this person is somebody that's like, it's the same person that gave you these heartaches. It's like, maybe, maybe he has like a, but it's, it's about letting it go, like letting it go and, and not blaming yourself anymore for like, it's like getting out of this victim mode, getting out of this, like, like, you know, like always throwing it in his face or when something happens, it's like it triggers something in you that remembers this last time. Oh, well, last time I felt like this, this is what was going on. And it's like never forgetting it, you know, and you're being guided to really like let it go because like guilt and that like, it's about forgiveness. It's about forgiveness forgiveness for yourself for like not being wise enough or at the time, you know, not, I don't even want to say wise enough because it's like, you don't know until you know, you know what I mean? And like these three lessons, they taught you something. Okay. And so now it's like, okay, you've learned from the lesson, but now it's time to like, have this understanding, this, this compassion. Cause I feel it like there's still like this, like, like it stings, you know, like it's this bitterness, like it's still like keeping up this block, you know, between these two. And it's like, you know, you want to feel safe, but there's like never any 
100% guarantee when you come together with another person, you know, it's like, all you can do is show up as yourself and, and be the person that you want to show up as and hope for the best that the other person has that in mind as well. And that if you see, um, man, yeah, somebody is like, it's like, you're really stressing out about this. You know, it's like, Yeah, like it's like um, you've been confused, but you know your truth. It's like I don't know. I just keep hearing, just let it go, just let it go. It's like not nearly as bad as you think it is, or whatever you think you're doing, I'm even hearing like by getting involved with this person, you guys might be separated by distance. But I feel like you want to be with them. There, there may be, um, whew, I don't know. I just am getting like lots of messages now. It's like, um, Because he's also a father. So I just, with this self-forgiveness card, it's like, I feel like this guy is like feeling guilty about something, you know, like maybe he's um, leaving a family situation. Cause here's this family situation. There is this, this family dynamic and things about money here. I could just keep on pulling cards, you know? Let's see. I'm going to get, I'm going to get, um, one more card. Let's, let's clarify this King of Pentacles. Jeez. All right. These two. Yeah. See, all right. These two flipped over. Here's this Virgo. Yeah. This guy's been in heavy contemplation. Yeah. He see something is cause I feel like this guy's coming in After some serious contemplation, I feel he might even be leaving this this home situation that he's invest. Like this is it's like leaving. It's like he has this awareness, this king, and he he may be leaving one situation. Maybe this queen of pentacles here is like, she's a little bit nervous too. I just feel like there's this, this energy that serious conversations need to be talked about, like about money, about the home, just, and I feel like this guy, there might be one person that's like leaving one situation to come into another situation, or this could just be like a reconciliation between the two. But whomever this person is, it's like, yeah, you're nervous, but this is your person. This is your person. And you just have to like lighten up, like let this shit go. You're one sort of truth here. It's like you have it. You earned it. You know exactly what to do with it. Trust yourself. Like I, do, I feel like somebody's like so nervous about making the same mistake again, because they're about to, to really seriously commit to somebody like these two are about to like make a serious commitment to each other. And they should, because they're a pair, they're soulmates. But I feel like it's like new. I just feel like so nervous, <clears throat> you know, maybe it's just a new connection. I don't, I don't know. You, you guys are going to know. All right. Let's get um, one romance card here for Virgo for the month of March. Yeah. See, told you. 
soulmate. Let your friends help you. And that's your guides. I heard like, that's your guides. That's your, how, how are you going to do this? By staying in the, in the moment. You're going to stay in the moment. You're going to do this because I feel like it's new for both of you. Okay. I feel like maybe one guy, this guy is like leaving a situation that he already invested a lot of time in. And then it turned out like crappy. And then, you know, here she is. She's just like had a really bad picker, you know, but then these two meet and they can't keep their hands off each other. They just are so drawn to each other. I mean, we've got the card attraction here, but it also makes them both like, huh, let's, let's take a pause. Let me just like hold, pull back here for a second, see what the hell's going on. And, uh, yeah, but this is, um, this is a very special card. Okay. This is my soulmate card. I had a soulmate card. Uh, it disappeared the day that <coughs> I, um, lost the man that I loved, but the deck, when I got it, it came with Tuesday optimistic about your love life cards, which is, I don't believe in coincidences, but, um, anyway, I just made, put an S on one and it's, just a super special card because of that story. So the fact that it came out here, it's like, don't worry, go big or go home, you know, let go, let go. And like, I just feel like this is something like, don't fight it. It's worth like putting your time and energy into it. I do feel the need that you guys are like both trying to be practical about moving forward. And it's just about being cautious, but this is your soulmate. This is meant to be. So there you have it, Virgo. I love you. I'll see you next month. And yeah, I'll see you next month. Bye.